100 years ago, there weren't defense companies. When America went to war, Ford, for example, would pause making cars and make bombers and jeeps instead. But after the Korean War, there's this technology race with the Soviets. They're both making complicated stuff like nuclear weapons and missiles. Not quite something you can ask you for. We have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry a vast proportion. So companies that made not defense things like microwaves or canoes or the Walt Disney World monorail now start making whatever the Pentagon needs. These contractors soon merge and acquire other contractors until there are only these few and powerful conglomerations left. And these contractors have what members of Congress need, jobs. They've spread their jobs across the country. Like an F-18 jet, the body's made in Missouri. Engines are made in New England. Radars are made in Missouri, Massachusetts, California. These jobs are their bargaining power over Congress to say, crank up the budget. To the point where even the Pentagon said in 2009, this is more than we want or need. The real twist is defense spending is not efficient at creating jobs. Transportation, healthcare, and education all generate far more jobs per dollar invested. 